Hi everyone, welcome back from the gameplay of Alien Invasion RPG Idol. So after a lot of grinding and a lot of uh, time spent into playing the latest event, I've been able to get enough to get to the maximum rewards. It's going to be the very first time uh, in my time playing the game that I've been able to reach the top, uh, the maximum rewards. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, this should allow me to like unlock a permanent crystals mine that is going to spawn close to the mothership. Like it spawn should be spawning right there. Um, and other than you know the 50% extra total catch speed, it should be giving me that particular thing. And yeah, I'm very very happy about that. Uh, I've been you know using math once again to try to uh, maximize the uh, efficiency in order to, to progress on the game. And you can see these are my actual levels. I haven't upgraded the counter drop higher than level 170 because I saw that it wasn't really uh, necessary and it was actually ended up like I would be wasting candles. So it was just better to increase the bat drop and to just collect as many of the vampires and the in the bats. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There are still like five hours, a bit more than five hours to the end of the event. And you can say just need like. Um, to 200 million uh, bats and I will be getting the final reward so I'm gonna probably do it here on uh, on the video and let me know guys in the comments which was your final position um, in this event and, um, and yeah you know uh, I've been asked this by a lot of players have you ever spent on the money like how much money you need to spend in order to get the maximum rewards and um, once again I want to say I have never spent a single cent on this game or on any other game uh, I've just spent money to buy games so to get them that's the only uh, place where I actually spent money but other than that I've never spent money in game for stuff like skins or for uh, no premium stuff that would uh, allow me to progress uh, faster so uh, yeah I'm totally free to play player and this is just an example of how you know, playing consistently and especially playing smart so knowing what to do other than of course dedicating time and uh, uh, no farming uh, and just grinding can help you to get the maximum rewards even if you don't really uh, spend any money so here we go that's the last uh, level and wow you can see that there is an unique icon here so very likely that should be the uh, so the extra 50% I don't know if it's it has been added yeah should have been that added right there at the very bottom and uh, um, then let's see the, the mine, if I got the, the mine, yeah, here we go. I think that this events farm, actually, um, you can stack it. Like, if you reach the maximum rewards on different events, you can just stack them up. And therefore, you can collect multiple uh, crystals from each different event. Um, now, as you can see here, you can reach up to 24 total. Um, but it doesn't have anything to, like, upgrade it. So I think it, it might be just standard level and you cannot like upgrade it anyway other than with the uh, with the probably the in-game uh, things. So let me check here. At the very bottom there should be now a screen about that particular farm. Um, so it's not this secret mine. Uh, no, it's not here. Uh, yeah, here we go, the vampire farm. So let me see the rate. Yeah, here we go. So you actually can buff it through the events um, buffs. You can see the extra 10% I got from a uh, past event and then from the Black Market uh, Mines Power. So you can increase it through that way. But there is no another way, at least not known, at least for me, to upgrade it. And also the capacity is 24 and cannot be upgraded really another way. Uh, I don't know, maybe if this event will be live again um, it might be possible that if you once again can reach you know, the total rewards you might be able to double the generation time uh, maybe you know I don't know but yeah that's just, that's just it I just wanted to show it to you because it's the very first time that I've been able to unlock it um, yeah it has been a lot of time as I said before a lot of grinding and a lot of time spent in just going around collecting the candles and using you know, the, the math to just get the best percentages. But, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya. Bye bye.